one of the last DVD stores on the Gold Coast is shutting its doors after 20 years. Everything within the store must go by the end of the month. Prices starting at a dollar. I don't know what we're going to do with them if we don't sell them all. We'd just like everybody to come down and support us and try and get rid of all these movies. The Video Store. What a big nostalgic slap in the face this place is. I remember being a kid racing down to my local video store on a Friday afternoon, hoping the new release DVD I was after was in stock. And if some other snotty-nosed 12-year-old got in before me, you could bet that I was coming back a few days later to cash in on the cheap Tuesday deals. From the Sloopy Machine, the Return Shoe, to the loyalty card discount, there was something special about this place, and to be honest, I didn't think there were any of these stores left. But as luck would have it, one of the last standing video stores in the world is just 20 minutes up the road, and it's finally closing its doors after all these years. As a full-time eBay seller, 30% of my sales last year were, well, DVDs, accounting for almost $29,000 worth of revenue. There's still an online market for these once-loved forms of pre-owned physical media, and today I want to dive into this store to see what I can find to sell on a eBay. How many would you say are in store? How many do you have here? Well, I think I've got about 25,000 left. So I had about 35,000, so wow. I've been selling a few. So you had 35, you've sold about 10,000. So far, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I've still got 25,000 left. And I noticed that you've got the TV seasons for $6 each. Yeah. Um, if I was to buy a few, could you do me a bit of a deal? Mate, I'd do deals. You could have the whole lot for about probably 20 grand. I'd 20 grand just for get the rid lot. Of everything. Yeah. The whole place? Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. 25,000 movies. Wow, 25,000 movies for 20 crayon, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> cheap, yeah. uh, cheap, you reckon? Cheap. Sounds cheap, yeah. I've got to admit, I felt a little caught off guard when David mentioned that he was happy to sell his entire store for $20,000. I didn't think I was walking in today to even go into that sort of an agreement, but look, it definitely got me thinking about the potential for a bulk deal, but I did say to him that I was more interested in the TV seasons because they sell best for me on eBay, and he did say that he'd cut me a deal of $3 per DVD. So with the deal now in place, it was just a matter of finding the best of the bunch. To make this video a little bit more interesting, there are three TV shows that I really hope to find in this store, because I already know that they're worth quite a lot of money. The first show that we're gonna be looking for is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's the series Fast Forward. There's six volumes. There's some outrageous comps for this show on eBay. If we can find it, I'll be blown away. The other one as well is Neighbours. If you can find anything from the early years of the TV show Neighbours, it is definitely one to be finding. So I'm gonna hopefully find that one today. And then the other one as well is a show called Fast Forward. It's a comedy show and uh, it was really popular back in the day. It goes for some very good money on eBay because it's rare. There aren't a lot of them. So if we can find any of those three throughout this video, stick around, it should be a bit of fun. So another thing that I should let you guys in on is I use the app eProfit, which is this right here. It's a free download. It, it literally costs you nothing to get. Um, you can come to the numbers. Say for instance, we just had a look at the DVD Zoo. If you wanted to work out exactly how much profit you were gonna get off that, it was a $50 sale price. We were buying it for $9. And the shipping costs on that will go into a small satchel. So it's gonna be $7.50 with my band five Australia post discount. And you can see here that that deal is now gonna be a $26 profit. We obviously need to sell for $49.95, but based on the comps, I think we will. All right, this is the first allocation. We've got 24 different sets of TV shows here. Uh, all gonna be three bucks a piece, but I've had a look at the new profit calculator and there's definitely gonna be a stack of money in them. Uh, this is probably the best of the bunch. So Grey's Anatomy, there was 17, all 17 seasons, so it's a complete set uh, for this show, which is um, worth quite a bit. I think it was about 150, 150 bucks on eBay. I'll put the comps up on the screen here for you to have a look at. Um, most of them go for upwards of 40 plus, um, and you're getting them for no more. Like that one there, that was worth about 50. I'm paying six dollars on that. Um, I think this is a pretty good allocation, but this is the allocation just me going off the top of my head with my experience of knowing what sells well. Now we need to actually do the legwork, which is going in there with the barcode scanner and scanning up all of these for all of the ones that we literally have no idea about. And I reckon there's a lot of gems in here. So let's dive back in. We'll see if we can find some more. So David's offer of $20,000 uh, earlier in this video is definitely still on my mind. I've been thinking about it the entire time while I've been pulling all of these DVDs out. 
would it just be easier in my best interest to lower the average price by just buying the lot? I don't think 20,000 movies and DVDs is gonna be viable because I just don't have the space at home for it. And I don't really wanna get caught up in a storage unit or anything like that. But I'm thinking about offering him a bulk deal on all of the TV shows. There's about 2,000 odd TV show DVDs here. It'd be pretty cool if we were able to get a deal on that. And I think that's something that's gonna be a bit more manageable. So. I'll have a bit of a think, we'll see if we can come up with a deal on that front. fast forward. Now, like I said before, the comps on this we can find all six seasons is massive. I reckon there's still some more in here, so we just need to do a quick search. All right, we've got volume one. So we've got volume one and four. And we've got volume six. That would actually even be a good sell on its own if we don't find the rest. So there's three. Keep having a look, we might be able to find all six of them. We've got our next top three find here, but again, a bit like the Ninja Turtles, it's not exactly what we were after, but the show is fast forward. It's here in store, which is great. Um, this is the funniest TV send-ups. So it's not the season version of the show. The season versions can go for over $100. Uh, but these ones here, volumes one, two, and three, they go for about 30 bucks each. Uh, and I've got this one here as well, which is the fast forward version, but it's, it's again, not the seasons that we're after. I'm still gonna pick them up. I'm stoked to have found them because these are still rare, but if you can find the season versions, they're the ones you wanna be after. All right, because we're working on a deal of $3 each, I've got Shameless here, which is seasons one to 10. It's gonna be 30 bucks. So I'll put it into the e-profit calculator and it sells for about 60 to $70. So. Let's say 70 bucks, 30 starting price, $70 sale price, that's gonna net an $18 profit. It's not huge, but obviously I'm in the buying mood with so many DVDs here that I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, this one as well, I've got a big large allotment that I was a little bit nervous about. Um, NCIS Los Angeles, we've got seasons one to 11. Uh, it sells for 120 bucks, so this is a big guy. Um, happy to have found it, it's every single season, I believe. Um, and it's $33. So there's some significant profit in this one. Um, put the comp up here on the screen for you to have a look at. Um, so yeah, two really good bulk buyers that I was a little bit nervous about at $3 each, but I think there's enough in, in this lot. All right, this is our second run. We've been going for about an hour and I've pulled out what, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24 different listings ultimately. All of these are grouped into their TV show. They're all three bucks each. I don't know how much money we're spending today. I'm just grabbing it because I know there's profit in it. Um, if you have a look at this, if you come around here, this one here, Jack Irish. Um, so season one and season two, I think it was comps going for, I think it was like $70 for that one there. I'd never heard of that. It's the Guy Pierce TV show. Uh, two seasons, that was awesome. Um, obviously, we, I spoke before about NCIS. I spoke before about Shameless. So we've got them to the side there for some big buys. Um, but then some other ones that I can let you in on. I thought this was good. Jamestown, I hadn't heard of that one. I'll put the comps up on the screen for you. That one sold for some pretty decent money and that's only $6, so I think that's a good grab. This is a cracker. I don't know how I missed this one before. So this is seasons one to five of Get Smart. Um, that's an absolute classic. If I saw that in an op shop, I would have grabbed that straight away. So that was a no brainer. Um, goes for about, I think $80 on that one there. Okay, uh, we've gone through a few and I've pulled these out here. So all of these titles are $15 plus. Now, I haven't gone through every single one because we'd be here forever, but it's a good little start. I've scanned through about 50 or so and we've come away with seven horror films. So I just think it's a really good category if you're looking for genres to get into. At the horror section, you can always pull out some gems. This is a good little start. Oh, 
this is the third uh, little stack that we've been able to find here. Um, there's been some good ones. I've kind of started to go into just the single DVDs because I kind of initially just went for the big box sets, but now I just wanted to go for the ones that I could just find any money in. These go for about $15 plus. Blue Healers though, if you can find that TV set, that's worth a heap, but that one there on its own is worth about $25. Um, I looked these ones out, it was sets of two. This one's a good one, so Zoe 101. I think that one was going for about $65, something like that. Uh, Damnation, hadn't heard of this one. This one was going for about $40, so that was, that was epic to see. I love finding the ones that I don't know anything about. Uh, and this one as well, um, Jessica Alba, so Dark Angel. I think there's six seasons of this TV show. I found two seasons, and they go for about $50 to $60 as well for a set of two. So, got a few others here as well. They're all sort of multiple sets. We've got uh, now a few single, a couple of singles here as well. So, collection is definitely growing, and I'm a little bit nervous about how much we're going to be spending. Well guys, it's been a massive day. We are finally out of there after a number of hours of sifting and searching through the best DVDs that we could possibly find. And we've spent $1,000 today. $1,000 has been spent. I put an offer to David to see if he wanted to go ahead with a purchase or a sale of all of his uh, TV show DVDs. And uh, he declined the offer that I put to him. I won't tell you what the offer was, but he declined it. Uh, it is in the back of his mind though over the next few weeks before he closes down and fingers crossed he gets back in touch with me and we can work out a deal because it would be great stock to get for my ebay business um so a thousand bucks spent 350 dvds i'm wrapped with today we've really picked the cream of the crop today uh said no to the rest and took the best and uh i'm pretty happy with what we've been able to do so uh, I'll probably bring you some, some updates uh, over the next couple of weeks on how this haul actually eventuates and how it goes on to sell. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button on this video right now. And those future videos should be a bit of fun as well. Appreciate you tuning in this one, guys. Top 10 DVDs of all time is right here for you guys to go and check out. We'll see you soon.